in my old job, sometimes we would be facing really miserable situations, things that we were going to have to do. Maybe we had to go on a dive, a long dive, and the water was freezing cold, or we had to go on a long patrol through really steep terrain, and it was hot. Or maybe we had to get our, our boats through the surf zone when there was giant waves. And invariably in those situations, someone in the platoon would say in a low voice, well, this is going to suck. And then you know what we do? We do it anyways. That's right. Sometimes things are going to suck. And you know what you do? You do them anyways. We all have two people. Now, I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice, which is that 20% telling yourself that you're, I'm easy at 90% of my full potential, maybe 100% at that 20%. That's that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice that, that's that mommy holding you saying, it's going to be okay. That voice got me 297 pounds. When I got in the military and I started gaining this weight a lot, um, my standard breakfast was eight cinnamon rolls, you know, like basically, um, I think, six to eight scrambled eggs, you know, half a pound of bacon, fruity pebbles, Lucky Charms, whatever it may be. That was my standard breakfast. So that was your way of getting away from the pain. That's right. Pain. That was your vice. That was my vice. Now, for some people, it's alcohol or drugs or that's sex right. or shopping for you. It was, it was food and also being comfortable. Whatever I wanted, I did. And that's where I started seeing myself get further and further away from my true self and your true self is found honestly in that very uncomfortable zone i'm helping you figure out your fucking equation because it's different my equation is different from your equation what's going to make you tick what's going to make you go the distance what's going to make you go to that spot in hell and say i love this spot because once you figure out the equation in any math problem you no longer fail man you got it figured out sometimes get overwhelmed there's just too many things going on and you start to feel like you're getting beat like you're losing the battle and when that happens to me what i like to do is i like to go on the hardcore offense so i i just call it a sprint i will sprint hard i'll i'll take the things that i have to get done for work and i will just pile them up and i will work two or three 12, 16, 18 hour days to get caught up. It's a lot better for me to suffer hard for three days and grind than to suffer the continual burden that weighing on your back for months on end. Don't let that happen. If you get a little bit behind and you need to get caught up, hit the turbo button, go hard for three or four days, get yourself where you need to be. We tend to do the things that are easy. That is, a, it, it builds no mental toughness, it builds no mental hardening, it builds nothing. You have to do something that sucks every day. Because why, once you overcome the suck, oh, now you're powerful. You've overcome yourself already, so now you're ready to battle. Freedom part is pretty easy for everyone to understand. I think that everybody wants freedom in all the very...